Hello, welcome back to Miss Finance Manager back in on this channel. I go for all things accounting, finance, investment and Excel related. So if you do like this kind of stuff, please do consider subscribing. So today I'm going to go through another practice assessment um, that's going to hopefully help you with your studies towards the AT Level 3 Synoptic. So once again, it's competition time on the channel. So I'm going to give away a set of books to one lucky student who's currently studying towards the AAT or who is looking to study. So that can be at any level and at any subjects within the AAT course of your choosing. And all you need to do is make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end. Make sure you subscribe, of course, and leave a comment in the comment section below. So best of luck to everybody. And thank you so, so much for supporting the channel today. So I hope you found it useful and let's get straight into it. So on the right, I've got the information, which are the instructions that we need to go through. And on the left, we've got the workbook. So we're just going to go down this one by one and hopefully complete the file in 10 minutes or less. So we've got the file open in the worksheet called data analysis, insert show man limited into cell A1 in bold font size 11. So here, if we type show man limited, we need to make sure that this is in bold and size 11. So I'm just going to use this drop down here to select size 11 under font. Okay, now we need to insert further data analysis in cell A2. So further data analysis. And make sure that you spell this correctly and it's in the same form as what they're asking for. So again, I can either change this by going to the drop down menu selecting 11, which would be fine. Or if I just undo that quickly, if I click on A1, and select Format Painter, that will then make A2 the same as A1. Now, we're being asked to go back to the Data tab, and we need to do a spell check. So if I highlight all of column A, go to Review at the top, and go to Spelling, this will then bring up anything that's spelled incorrectly. And all I need to do is check it here, check the suggestion, and click on Change. And again, click on Change. And then once that has been done, it will then say that spell check has been completed and you're good to go. So I'm just going to click on OK there. So we've done all the way down to here. And then we want to copy the information from A4 to A12. So A4 to A12, we want to copy that onto the data analysis worksheet in A5. So I'm just going to right click one, two, three there. So next, using absolute referencing, link the cost from the data worksheet into the data analysis worksheet. So all I need to do is just go into B5, go equals, go to data and select those figures there. So just drag that all the way down as you can see. And I just want to double check that they are in the right place. Yep, looks like it. Okay, so... At the moment, we've been told that staff costs are shown seven and a half people. So I want to change that now to show five people as per the instructions. So if I divide that by 7.5 and then times by five, that will give me the, the total cost for just a five staff instead of seven and a half. And I also need to amend the text. So that's now just going to show only 5.0 people instead of seven and a half. And that's that done. So next we want to increase the marketing cost by 5%. So here, if I just go into the cell formula there and type 1.05, that's the equivalent of doing 105%. So that should increase those costs quite easily like that. Next we've been told that total other cost is expected to be 6,000 instead of the 4,256. So if I do equals 6,000 minus the 4,256 there, I can add on 1744 and that gets 6,000. So that's now been changed. Increase rent and rates by 10%. So again, just times by 1.1 in the formula. Increase gas costs by 2%. So find gas costs times by 1.02. Done. So in J, so in cell B4, enter the pound sign. So make sure that's in the right place. Use the sum function to fill in a total in B14. So equals sum, open brackets nine, put comma, and then select the cells that you wanted to add up, close brackets. That's that one done. Next, format all text to be in Calibri. So if I just click on this button here, go to home, and then go on my drop down menu here, and 
click on Calibri and that'll change all that text to Calibri. Next we want to adjust the width for column A so that all text can be seen. So can you see this little button here? If I go in between any column, I can make that automatically adjust to show all text. So if I just double click here, that will automatically adjust that so that we can see all of that information there in column A. So question two, we've got a table underneath the breakeven revenue and target profit effectively. So underneath the text target profit, we need to insert £60,000 into cell C18. So £60,000 there. And then in B20 and C20, we need to link the total fixed costs. So our fixed costs are just what we've got in B14. So that's easy enough. So we've done that one and that one. On the line for revenue required, use the formula to calculate revenue using sales price per unit and contribution price per unit. So break even point is fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. Break even point in revenue is that exact same formula multiplied by the sales price per unit. So the revenue required for this one is going to be fixed cost divided by contribution per unit and then times by my revenue price per unit. This one, we're looking at target profit. So we actually need to add the target profit onto fits cost, then divided by the contribution per unit, then times by the sales price per unit. So that's fine. Insert the title, data analysis table in A16 to C16 and merge that. So merge and center and it's also making sure that that text is formatted to what's in A2. So it's got to be Calibri size 11 and the bold, which it is. Okay. Ensure the figures are formatted to GVP 1000. So if I go to number here, I go to currency, that should change that to the correct formatting. Next, the company wants to earn a profit of 90,000, wants to know what the revenue would need to be. So we're being asked to insert a column between the break even and target profit column. So just here, if I click on column C, right click and insert, I can insert that column there. Enter a title in C17 called target profit two. Okay. Complete this column to show the target profit at 90,000. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy everything that's in this D column. Now I'm just going to make sure that that shows 90,000 for the target profit. And I'm going to make sure that this lines up to pick up those fixed costs there and make sure that that is adding everything together. That's fine. So I'm just going to type my initials into D1 here that you can see. That's that and that done. And then I need to show all formulas. So if I go to formulas at the top here and go to show formulas, that should show all of those. And I just need to do a screen print. So I'm just going to make this bigger. So if I just go to alt and print screen with my keyboard, then go to screen print, click on paste, and that's that. So I hope you found this video useful. Do consider subscribing as always, and I shall see you on the next video.